Hi, fourth graders. Mr. Askelson here. It is Tuesday, April 28, 2020. Uh, today's lesson is Chapter 9, Lesson 3, Subtract Like Fractions. So, the directions, watch the Khan Academy video on Seesaw and complete the activity when you are finished. Complete the problems below. Post your answers on Seesaw or email them to us. Then go on Redbird and Freckle when you are finished. So, last week we talked about adding like fractions. And if you remember, like fractions are numbers with the same denominators, or the bottom numbers, are called like fractions. So if they have the same denominator, they are like fractions, and you can add them, or in this case, you can subtract them. So what are the steps to subtracting like fractions? There's three simple steps to subtract fractions. The first one is make sure the bottom numbers, or the denominators, are the same. The second step is if you have those common denominators, then you can subtract the top numbers, the numerators, and put your answer over the same denominator. And last, simplify the fraction if needed. Use greatest common factor or the GCF. So if I want to subtract the fractions 6 twelfths minus 2 twelfths, the first thing I do is make sure the bottom numbers are the same. So I look at the denominators here, the bottom numbers, and I see I have 12 and 12. I do have uh, common denominators. So now I can move ahead to step two. Subtract the top numbers, the numerators. Put the answer over the same denominator. So I have 6 minus 2, and 6 minus 2 is 4. So I have my same denominator. I put my uh, answer to my subtraction problem over that 12, so 4 twelfths, and then I ask myself, is 4 twelfths in those terms? How do I knew? No, I write out the uh, factors. So the factors of 4 are 1, 2, and 4. Factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12, and you can see they share some common uh, factors, 1 and 2 and 4. But of those three, four is the greatest common factor. So then I divide my numerator, four, by four, and I divide my denominator by four, and that gives me the fraction one-third. Four divided by four is one. Twelve divided by four is three. So six-twelfths minus two-twelfths equals four-twelfths, and in simplest form, one-third. So, you've got some activities today on Seesaw, and then there are some examples down here that you need to work on. Some are using um, some fraction pieces that, that, that can be helpful. Um, and then post your answers on Seesaw or email them, and then go on to Redford or Freckle. Hope this helps. Have a great day, fourth graders.